what distinguishes high-performing schools from others is often the educators' and students' commitment to learning. At Learning Forward, we call these schools learning schools. Ensuring every educator is learning every day is critical to ensure students experience great teaching every day. Learning Forward standards for professional learning delineate critical attributes of effective professional learning. With support from the MetLife Foundation, Learning Forward engages educators in learning communities through its Learning School Alliance, which provides opportunities for schools across North America to collaborate, problem solve, and learn from experts as well as from one another. My principal, Melissa Nada, said to me, uh, oh, there's this really neat group that one of the other schools in Windsor is part of, and it's called uh, Learning Forward. And uh, the, they've asked us to be to consider being part of this school alliance program. Vincent Massey Secondary School in Windsor, Ontario, Canada is a member of Learning Forward's Learning School Alliance and uses their participation to guide the implementation of their own professional learning communities. It's a very collaborative approach, getting uh, teachers involved, getting departments involved, and really delving into what are the unique learning needs of our students and then how are we going to meet those learning needs. Schools participating in the Learning School Alliance set goals for educator and student learning. School teams convene online and face-to-face. -face. Carefully selected facilitators support community members in the development of customized professional learning plans and provide access to the Alliance tools, webinars, and discussion forums to help them achieve their unique school goals. Members of the Alliance commit to participating actively in a cross-school learning community in which they share their own learning and support fellow community members to achieve their goals. The tools and the protocols were very helpful. Um, I think the protocols is something that has helped us certainly stay focused during our learning team time um, and really provided us with the frameworks in order to work through some things such as um, analyzing data. Just read the literature, oh my goodness, the literature that's provided to us. Uh, I've brought that home and shared it with um, people who are just starting up in the uh, teaching profession. Professional learning occurs within learning communities that are committed to the cycle of continuous improvement, collective responsibility, alignment, and accountability. It starts with identifying student learning needs. So the gathering of evidence, the gathering of data. And then it's meeting, it's like saying, okay, from all of this, what are the most important things? What are the most critical areas of our students' learning? Continuous improvement is a process that repeats several times throughout the school year in which educators take responsibility for students' performance. Teachers and administrators examine student data to identify areas of need and then determine what they, the educators, need to learn in order to help their students be more successful. The process includes determining how educators will learn, supporting the implementation of their learning within their classrooms, providing classroom and school-based support for refining implementation, and evaluating the success of educator and student learning. It all begins within learning communities. Educators engage in activities that examine data and determine a focus for student and teacher learning. Many of our teachers are involved in collaborative inquiry projects as well as action research, um, learning teams, uh, professional learning communities, always beginning with what is the emergent, what is the urgent student learning need and why are we here. The other thing we did was instead of examining what, question, what they got correct, we went into detail and examined what they got incorrect. By identifying each individual response and tallying it, we could see, hey, for question number one, 65% of the students got it wrong. Well, that's not good enough. We need to know why they got it wrong. It's not good enough to know whether they get it right or wrong. We need to know what they're doing wrong and why. Commitment to collective responsibility from the whole staff is key to ensuring all students achieve success. And as a whole staff of Massey, even though you may not specifically teach that particular child, you may in future years, but they're all our collective responsibility. So we talk a lot about that. 
I think five, six years ago, we used to teach by ourselves within our own small bubble. Now it is team teaching, sharing, uh, consistency, what I have, what you have, we help each other. And there's this general notion that we all want to get better, but through the LSA model, uh, choosing tangible, um, uh, specific goals to, to work towards, I think it's really helped us focus our efforts. Instructional coaching has had a really strong um, impact on our school and uh, the, the, the team teaching, the relationship building, the modeling, feedback, uh, lesson planning and debriefing has been very effective for us. Teachers from different communities in the school are aligning goals for their students, learning their own goals, and teaching strategies to accomplish the school-wide goal of increasing student learning. And one of the strengths um, one of the big ideas that I want to share is that it's very much a cross-curricular approach. So we believe very much in a whole school approach and a cross-curricular approach. All disciplines contribute to promoting student learning. Even disciplines not considered academic, such as physical education, contribute to students' overall success. At Massey, the PE teachers understand how they can support student thinking processes and play an important role in students' overall success. We're phys ed teachers, so we had uh, a little bit more um, different point of view than maybe everyone else that was in our committee. Essentially, um, we kind of, as a, as a committee, as the collaborative inquiry team, we figured out a strategy that would be beneficial to help um, kids think better, to make connections better with their work. So we kind of took that idea and evolved it to help us in the weight room. So what we formulated um, was a way, it was almost a think aloud process. So we would first be demonstrating with the students an actual movement, something as, uh, I don't want to say simple, but straightforward as a bench press. We'd go through the steps and what we're actually thinking and what we're feeling when we're doing that motion. And at the same time, they're also thinking, okay, what's happening to my joint? This joint is uh, the angle's getting bigger, so what would cause that joint to get bigger? What muscles involved in that? So as they're saying it out loud, they're starting to realize that as every exercise they do, they're trying to figure out where they're feeling it in their body. And so hopefully that was to transition to other activities. So when they do a jump shot in basketball, they're thinking, all right, what muscle is actually doing this motion? Yeah, and it was neat because you saw we just had one, no, I don't want to say basic idea, but one general idea and then we saw progress for a whole year and we had empirical evidence, we had everything to go along with it, so it was cool. And every subject area um, kind of did it their own way too, so that was kind of cool to see how everyone could apply the same idea and use it for their own subject. Accountability is an important part of the third element of this standard for student success. School staff understand that continual engagement in professional learning leads to student success. Teachers and administrators hold each other accountable because it takes everyone to achieve success for every student. It's very exciting and absolutely um, the teachers are very committed to um, being members of learning teams, of collaborative inquiry projects, of action research projects. After we identify the student learning needs, then we look at establishing SMART goals we look at validated research-based strategies. So what are the strategies that we need in order to help the students achieve these goals? And then what is the professional learning? And that's where I believe um, being a part of the Learning School Alliance with Learning Forward has really helped us and has guided our professional learning. In learning schools, everyone's job is to learn. At Vincent Massey, that commitment has translated into great results.